One of the best little known sports that's humbly submerged in the local town of Ballant, scuba diving. I talked to Scott Camerlo, owner of Scott Scuba Service, who told me that scuba diving is a safe, inexpensive, and fun sport that is closer to home than expected. People have misconceptions that they think diving is, is very dangerous, and although there is potential for danger, it is something that if they go about it right with training and and uh, you know staying within there, it's like somebody that learns to to rock climb, you know, and if they're going to start off climbing uh, um, the Eiger Sanction in Switzerland, you know, they're going to be in trouble. But if they start off with little local cliffs and stuff, so you build on, on your experience levels, and then it's a very safe activity. Scott runs scuba classes at local institutions like the YMCA in Newcastle to teach safe diving and better the skills of his students. A lot of time is spent in the classroom so that participants can learn the importance of their safety in the water. The safety comes with the knowledge of simple physics and the human physiology. The uh, laws of physics are designed to protect you uh, from things like decompression sickness and also from uh, the weight of the water. Water is extremely heavy by comparison to the environment we live in, uh, and that's why we learn the gas laws. We learn about human physiology uh, so that we can realize what's happening to our bodies when we're under the water. And, of course, also in the classroom we, we learn about the... Uh, the environment that we're diving in and the marine life and, and you know, all the different uh, things that go into uh, the water itself. The second part of the lessons involves the students getting to know the equipment and honing their diving skills in the water. They have to have a knowledge of, of both the, the laws of physics that are affecting them when they're in the water, Boyle's Law and uh, Dalton's Law and Charles' Law. Those are all gas laws of physics. Scott owns the diving site that his students perform their final four dives in. It is located in Slippery Rock, PA, and is considered one of the best training facilities in Pennsylvania. The second part of that training is pool work. So each night there's about an hour and a half of theory uh, in the classroom, and then there's about two hours of, of skill development in the pool. And that's where we learn to use the equipment of diving, the skills of diving. And then after the pool work is over, the, the final aspect of certification, after you've got the knowledge in the classroom and you've, you've got skill development in the pool, the, uh, the final part of your licensing for diving involves four training dives that take place in a uh, local training uh, lake. Scott also teaches a PE level course at Westminster College. One of Scott's students, Chris Leiberger, tells me how he benefits from Scott's class and the diving site at Slippery Rock. Last year I took the scuba diving class. I took it because I thought it was just going to be kind of one of those fun PE classes you just kind of take and get an A in, but it turned out to be really educational and really good. Um, there's a lot more to scuba diving than I thought. A lot of stuff having to do with physics and, you know, science and everything that I didn't really think was important when it comes to scuba diving. So that was also good in the fact that I went on vacation this summer to Florida. When I was down there, I was able to rent some scuba gear and I have my certificate. So I was able to scuba dive in, in the ocean and, and be on my own. And it was actually a pretty thrilling experience. Such a thrilling experience can be had by kids and adults alike. From senior citizens to college students to even 10-year-olds, Scott says scuba diving is a sport to be enjoyed by all. Actually, the, the, we can teach people down to the age of 10, so, and they have to do the same course as a college kid or as an adult. So the physics and stuff that we cover, although it's a little in-depth for young kids, if their parents help them out to understand it, then, then they, they, they grasp it. So it's not that the, it, you have to be a physicist or you have to have what I would say is you know, college-level knowledge or experience with, with testing when 10- and 12-year-olds are passing it. But it is important knowledge to understand to keep you safe in the water. From physics to physiology, adults to kids, more and more people are getting involved in what could be one of the best little-known sports of scuba diving. And it's all right in the local town of Alant. I'm Brett Gerthofer, Titan Radio News.